Alright, welcome back to another video, everyone. So, I know I made a video like this, uh, probably about a month ago now. I think it was like, I think the video was called, like, One Simple Trick to Get Better at CTR. I don't know, something like that. And it's a useful technique, it's about U-turning. But this video is gonna be a lot more useful. It's gonna allow you to improve in a lot of different areas. Let's just get straight into it, shall we? For the people that haven't played CTR this month, or if they've not been keeping up with the updates, this month they added a brand new game mode called Ring Rally. Basically, there's a countdown, and you have to keep adding time to the countdown by going through the rings. Each lap the rings get smaller and it's more difficult to go through them and you just keep going until the timer eventually runs out. And this is the mode you're going to want to play to improve your skills. First of all there's no lap limit so it just goes on for as long as you make it go on for. So doing the ring rally challenge on a level that you're not that good at is a really good way of getting better at those tracks. And that reason crosses over into the next reason which is it's going to help you learn how to keep blue flame and reserves in general. In the ring rally challenge there's blue fire on every single track. So the more you play it, the more experience with Blue Flame you're gonna have. Let's compare it to like an online race. If you get Blue Flame and then you lose it, you're not gonna get another chance at using it until the next lap. But if you lose it in this, you're gonna get it back as soon as you go through the next ring. So it gives you a lot of experience with Blue Flame. Especially on the tracks that don't actually have Blue Flame, you know? Because if you learn how to keep it on those tracks, then when you play it online, you're gonna have more of a chance at basically not fucking up. Because you've had experience playing that same level on an even faster speed. Another reason this is great for improving your skills is because it improves your accuracy. On those final laps when the hole becomes incredibly fucking small, you've got to have pinpoint accuracy to go through them. And at that stage, every ring counts. Every ring is incredibly important if you want to keep that timer going up. So the ability of controlling your cart and making it go wherever you want it to go improves as you play this. And the fourth reason, which I personally think is the most useful, is it helps you perfect shortcuts. Let's take the sewer speedway shortcut for example. I know a lot of people struggle with that shortcut because there's so many different ways and angles to go at it but with the ring rally challenge it shows you where you're supposed to go on the shortcuts so for people that are having trouble with a map like super speedway for example here you go of course it's not a guarantee that you're going to go through it every single time but it's great practice and after doing a couple laps you know the exact way that you're supposed to do it another example is polar pass which is probably it probably has the hardest shortcut in the game unless i'm forgetting one but this one seems to be the one that i fuck up the most because i never know where to jump off and which side I should land on, but the rings make it so clear the where you're supposed to go. Even with tutorials, learning shortcuts can be difficult. Ring rally is the best practice you're going to get at shortcuts. And that's it. This is mainly a video for more, I'd say, uh, beginner to advanced players like me. You know, I'm good enough to get digital entropy and the champion cart and stuff, but I still fuck up a lot. As far as the CTR gods go that we can beat everyone and everything and every challenge and nothing's difficult, why are you watching the video? That's all I have to say for any of those people watching the video. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope this helped. I know there's a couple people that haven't played Ring Rally because uh, they just didn't think it'd be interesting or whatever, but it's fun and can be very good practice. So thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here and I will see you all in my next video.